and it's gonna convert it into a live photo and save it to my photo album on my phone. Testing, one, two, three, is this thing on? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit different. I normally don't have a microphone in front of me, so I'm trying out a new style of filming. I kind of just want to be in that like podcasting world, so we're going to try this out. Is this a YouTube video? Is this a podcast? I don't know, but I don't want it to be heavy on the editing. I just want to leave in all the ums, all the dead space, and all the sentences that will be ending up going nowhere like that one. Today I just want to film another video in what I like to call the creator series where I am just talking about all things being in the creator economy and I just want to give back all my tips and tricks that I've learned over the last like five years of being on YouTube and hopefully it can help someone who is in my shoes. If you guys watched my last video I basically tell you how I posted on shorts for 30 days straight and I posted three to five times a day. It took a long time out of my day and I just want to help someone repurpose their content. Is this too loud? We could turn down a little bit. Okay, so this is my repurposing content strategy for repurposing my content on three different platforms. If you guys are on social media nowadays, you know how it's not a one size fits all. You kind of have to repurpose it, tweak it a little bit depending on what platform you're on. So here are my tips and tricks for repurposing your content. Let's get into it. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so I have like 11 different steps, but I promise you guys it's not that hard. So the first thing you want to do is source your content. So let's just use TikTok as an example. We're going to take content from TikTok and we're going to repurpose it onto YouTube shorts. And in order to source your content, if you are a brand, I'm sure you guys have these, I don't want to say ethos, but like you have your brand and its rules around it, whatever that word is. I forget the marketing term. So you want to find something that fits in your brand pillar. So maybe if it's beauty, that's a very broad category. You can focus on maybe like a get ready with me. You can focus on a product tutorial, a product demonstration, whatever you want. So you have to figure that out and that goes on the social media side. So if you're like a social media manager, you are a social media strategist, brand strategist, whatever, I'm sure you're going to have to source your content according to what your posting schedule will look like. So that's for y'all to decide, but I'm just going to randomly pick a video from my TikTok. I swear I was going to like pick three from all different pillars, but this strategy works for all of them. So I'm just going to save some time and randomly pick one, something that's really easy. Now that I've sourced my content, I'm going to select it, meaning I need to save it to my device in order to repurpose it to other platforms. And how I do that is by clicking on three dots at the bottom right corner on TikTok, and there's a button called Live Photo. This is what I do. I click Live Photo, and it's gonna convert it into a live photo and save it to my photo album on my phone. Then, since there's music playing and there's no actual sound from the video itself, I don't need to save the video as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop on over to my photo album and I zoomed in all the way so you guys can't see all the embarrassing photos. If I have embarrassing photos, I don't know, but that's not for y'all to decide. Now that we have the video saved to our device, we can see that it is a live photo, but it's not moving. It's just a still image and it also has a watermark at the bottom of the video, the bottom right hand corner of the video. So what I like to do is two things, turn it into a video and two, get rid of that watermark. The first thing I like to do is click on edit, click on the rotation button and I'm going to drag that up. Right there's good. I've been repurposing, like I said, three to five times a day for an entire month to where it doesn't really matter how much you crop it out as long as you get it done and you get your posting schedule up. That was the way I looked at it. But if you want to be really meticulous with it, I'm sure you can like get it to the exact line where you can crop it out because if you crop it out a lot, it will lessen the quality of your video. So just watch out for that. And then I'm going to hit done. So then now we have a live still photo with no watermark. And there are other apps you can use for this part. I've never tried this, but there's an app called SnapTick, and I'm sure there's other like third-party apps that can remove your watermark. Um, I don't know if you have to log into your TikTok, and if you have an issue with like that kind of a thing, then you know you may just want to do this method. So 
now that we have the watermark gone, I'm going to click the three dots at the top, save it as a video, and then when you scroll to the next thing, you have a video there. The last thing I'm going to tell you guys is that there's no sound coming from this video. It strips away the audio. So you have a watermark less video, you have a perfectly resized video, um, but you don't have audio. So that's going to be the next thing. Okay, so now I'm going to go to YouTube. Click the plus sign at the bottom, click create a short, and it's going to say YouTube would like to access your photo, access, 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 whatever. And then now I'm going to scroll up to the very top and click the last one we just did. You know when you like open the front camera and it's just like you looking like a potato? That's what just happened. So you guys are not going to see that on the screen recording. Um, but anyways, you're going to click add clip. You're going to click the most recent one and it's going to start playing your video hit done. Now we're going to add some music to this. The original song was Show Me How by Men I Trust. I think that's the band name, but we're going to try to match that. This is where one size fits all doesn't apply to repurposing your content. People think it's a copy paste, like, oh, all these amazing apps that just generate your content and just spit it out to all these like different social media platforms. Um, you have to like remember that there's a music policy behind this. So what we're going to do is look up the music and hopefully this matches. So the song was called Show Me How and that was from TikTok and that was a sped up version. So we have to match that if you want it to be the same across platforms. A little pro tip is that I think it's best to not use the same song across all platforms because you don't know how that song is trending. You don't know how that song is ranking on one platform to another. It could be viral on one and then you might see it on like Instagram reels in like a month or two. I'm just kidding. It's not that far behind, but it feels like it sometimes. And then you may see it on like YouTube shorts or whatever. Like it just varies. And I don't know what those factors are exactly, but I just know that it is not equal across all social media platforms. So I'm going to type in the title, which is show me how and as you can see from the search results that it's not popping up so that's the one issue with repurposing your content is that the song banks or song libraries are going to be different because the rankings are different right the search on one platform might be viral on one but then the second one i guess apparently people aren't searching it on that platform enough to where that's not viral if that makes sense so let me just continue to type out the title now i'm just going to type out the artist which is men i do not trust i'm just kidding men i trust show me how the third one down love how it says slowed these search results are cracking me up but let's just go with the middle one because we don't want slowed we want either the regular or the fasted one and look at the search results there's none here we have one two three four five the fifth one down that one sounds like the real one even though i don't know what the jazz version is anyways we're gonna go with it we're gonna hit next so the next step is captioning your video so you have 100 characters which you can include hashtags so if you want the whole 100 characters to be all hashtags you can do that okay so my camera memory card thing is full so i had to take 10 minutes to sync the content on my hard drive and then i clicked re-record and for the last 10 minutes the voiceover like cut out like it just stopped and so i have the camera audio of course but i love this video being like a complete test run of doing like an actual podcast and these are the technical difficulties i'm facing right now so the one thing about repurposing content from one platform to another is that like i said there's no one size fits all okay it's different across platforms a lot of things are different and they're different for a reason okay so for the title you have 100 characters max so therefore you can a either put the entire title as hashtags and pray people are watching your video from all those hashtags or you can just write a really emotional paragraph of just text and that's also your caption 
But I know that if you work in social media, like content creation, you're a manager, you're a strategist, whatever, it's different because you might have a 500 character limit on TikTok. I don't know what the exact one is. Let's just say 500 because I think they extended it recently. And you go to copy and paste that to YouTube Shorts. It's not going to work because they have a 100 character limit on there. So for those saying that, oh, like use a third party app, it just it gets rid of all the captions, the hashtags, the thumbnail, all this stuff. Um, you have to keep in mind. I don't know where the text goes. Let's just let's just keep using all these hashtags. As you guys can see, the title is too long, so you can't copy and paste things exactly, but you can modify it as you need to. So that's why I think that repurposing content individually is really the best. But if you have an app or you know you're hiring someone to do that, I think it's good to look at these type of little details. So the next thing I wanna talk about is scheduling out your content. We're gonna go down to visibility and click public. As you guys can see, there's three different options here. Well, technically four with the schedule. First one is public, meaning you're gonna click post and it's gonna be uploaded immediately to the YouTube library. Um, the second one is unlisted. Anyone with the link can view. I think this one is good if you want to add more hashtags or more description. You want to add it to a playlist on YouTube. I think that's really good. Private, only people you choose can view this. Obviously, this is for yourself. And then the next one is scheduled. This one is how you guys are going to schedule out your content, obviously. And the cool thing about this is that once you pop it up, the calendar is there. You can put in any date, time, and I looked at this to see how far in advance you can take it. And it looks like you can go all the way to, okay, we're in 2025 right now. This is insane. Okay, we're in March 2026. So like you guys know, like that's really nice for someone working in content. You can schedule out your posts a year in advance. I don't know why you would need a whole entire year, but it's the fact that you can do it. There's no limitations there. That's a nice feature. Okay, so let's just do it on Friday the 21st and we're gonna hit okay. And then immediately it's gonna pop up with a clock, what time it's asking for. It took me a while to understand that it wasn't just by the hour you can click it by the minute as well. So let's just schedule it for three o'clock. Okay, AM, PM, you have these two little toggle buttons. Then you click the zeros. That's when you can get the exact time. So I'm gonna click the, the little zeros. And I used to think it was by fives, right? But it's not. I thought it was gonna click into place, but you can actually do it by the minute, which is really nice. So if you want it to be scheduled at three, no, oh my gosh, hold on, guys. Okay, I switched it to four, but if you want it to be scheduled at four, 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 because you are a angel number manifestation girly, you can schedule your content to four, 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 and maybe in the afternoon, boom. So you can do it to whatever time and date works best. Once again, if you work in social media, you're probably going to know your peak times and your low times when you are posting your content. So I think that's a really nice thing to have in advance because then you can schedule it to that time that, you know, viewers are watching your content the most. And then you're going to hit upload. So the title's too long, so that's why it's not giving me that button, but there's just one more button to click and that's done. So as you guys saw, we just repurposed content and it's it was pretty seamless. There was no music. I'm going to show you guys one more example where there is either audio or music in the background that you need to get rid of or you need to re-record. I'm going to show you how to do that. So we have to go through those steps again, which is sourcing your content. So I'm going to source content that has audio in it that we can use. Get ready with me as I tell you random facts about me. Okay, get ready with me while I tell you random facts about me. Perfect, that's a good one. Okay, so the one thing we want with this is the audio, okay? There's no music playing in the background, and if there is, that might be an issue with YouTube and its policies. So when repurposing your content, you wanna just be sure to adhere to their community guidelines, their music policies, copyright, all that kind of stuff. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pop on over to live photo. That's what we did the first time. That's what's going to give us that non watermark video. This one's a chunky one, so it's taking a while to load. Oh, today's daily bevy is a matcha latte. I know it was like one of my last daily bevies, but it's okay. She's a good one. Okay. So now that the live photo is saved, I'm going to pop back over to 
that little toggle button. I'm gonna hit save video. That's interesting. I just noticed on the bottom corner as I'm saving the video, TikTok says, want to reach a larger audience, add location. So that's interesting. Maybe I'll start tagging like New York or LA. Okay, same steps as last time, but we're gonna add a couple more steps at the end. So as you guys can see, there's two videos. One has the watermark, the watermark logo on it. And then the other one, is just a live photo with the, like a tiny little watermark at the bottom. We're gonna take that second video, hit edit, click on the bottom right corner. We're gonna take away that logo, hit done. It's saving it as a photo again. And then now we're gonna hit those three dots at the top. We're gonna hit save as video. Now we have a two minute video of me without the watermark and then we have one with the watermark. So now we're gonna pop on over to a third party editing app on our phones and you can use any editing app. The most important feature is the extract audio feature. So whatever app you have that has that, I recommend you use it. And then this next step is really important for the ratio. I like to click on the TikTok logo watermark video first and then click on your live photo turned video second, hit add to, because when you extract the audio from the TikTok version, it's gonna give you the ratio you want, which I think is 916. And then the other video that we just had is like cropped a little bit, remember, because we cropped the bottom half off or like the little watermark at the bottom. So that's important for the overall ratio. Okay, so now in CapCut, I am going to find Extract Audio, and then I'm going to delete the top video, and it's going to automatically drag the old video or the second video closer in timeline. And as you guys can see, there's these two black bars at the top and at the bottom. I'm just going to take my fingers and pinch it to where it crops it to the 916 ratio. So that's really important when you guys are repurposing your content because vertical video is 916 and it's not this Instagram, you know, chunky rectangle. It's the iPhone size. Perfect. Okay. So this video is actually two minutes long. So that's one minute too long for YouTube. So for the sake of this video, I'm actually just going to trim it down to a minute. So that's another thing when you repurpose content, you're going to have to go into your third party editing app and trim away all the dead space, all the ums, all the parts you don't want in order to meet that one minute threshold. Okay. Now I'm going to hit delete. All right. It's about 57 seconds. Oh, well. I'm gonna hit the top right button to export it and it's loading right now. Okay, it's ready to share. So now we're gonna pop on over to YouTube, hit the plus sign, create a short. All right, now I'm gonna click on that 50 second, 57 second video, hit done, perfect. Now I'm gonna hit done. Okay, I'm gonna hit next. Basically, all we did was extract the audio, resize it a little bit. Now I'm going to add some aesthetic music. So let's just type in lo-fi chill instrumentals, the first one that popped up. Best lo-fi hip hop 2021. Perf. But we're gonna have the volume be like, we'll do like 14. Perfect. Okay, so without having copyright on this video, I basically turned the volume on the lo-fi song to like 10, 15, whatever. And then the original audio is at 100%. So you can see the differences there. It's just gonna be me talking, get ready with me, blah, blah, blah. But then there's also an audio under that video. And that audio is not copywritten because you are adding it from YouTube and YouTube's library, um, at least in the shorts library. So wouldn't recommend that for an actual YouTube video, but for a shorts video, they have like, um, a music sharing thing. I forget what it's called. All right. So basically I just showed you two examples of how to repurpose your content from one platform to another. Basically I was showing you TikTok to YouTube shorts and kind of describing how there's a little bit of differences when repurposing your content. So hopefully that was helpful. I've done a lot of trial and error with repurposing my content. So I just really wanted to be there as like a big sister and, you know, maybe even a coworker who is working in content. And I want to just kind of help you guys to do the best you can when using these platforms. I also know that this video was kind of last minute with me. I just kind of wanted to test out a new recording strategy and I did that. I did just that. I ran into a memory card issue, an audio not recording issue. So I'm learning myself as a creator too when doing um, new styles of content. So 
I love how we can help each other in this creator economy and in today's world of social media. So I'm really glad to help and talk about these things. Thank you guys for watching as usual. And don't forget to thumbs up this video if you found it helpful. Don't forget to click subscribe and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys. Am I recording? <gasps> See, I wasn't even screen recording. Sorry, this is a very crisp audio. Oh, so ASMR-ic though. Should we put the headphones in? I like the headphones.